Hey everybody, so today on Him and I, we are going to be reviewing the brass inlay kit from Harbor Freight. So let's get to it. All right, so we'll go ahead and open this thing up just to see what we're looking at here. It's pretty simple things. We've got a centering jig, which is you stick this into the uh, the router, and then you center that on there so we get a nice flush thing. So then we got the eighth inch spiral bit, which we'll put in there to get all the material out. And this is a quarter inch collet. And this all right, so my plan has failed, and this is going to have to go back. It did not work out for me. Um, leave a comment if you've used this and it worked out for you. Um, just real disappointed. Uh, I think it was probably my router. This thing was really long, maybe made for a different router. So maybe that's the problem. Um, I've just never seen the bits that long. So it's probably me, but uh, this one's going back to the shop. All right, so I'm not as happy as I would like to be with these joints here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little piece of this purple heart and uh, try to hide my imperfections a little bit and maybe give my chair a little bit more pizzazz. So this joint isn't very good either, you can see there. So I'll put one maybe on the bottom on this side and just throw it off. So it ain't going to be perfect, but what we'll do is just try to do that. I've seen it on a YouTube, so I'm sure I can do it, right? Okay, so I got the uh, eighth inch bit in there. What I'm gonna do is just try to hog out most of that stuff. Uh, not the best working facility here. It would be nice we have a nice big spot, but we're gonna try this and see what happens. Alrighty, so I got the material. You can kind of see right there where I hit the line a little bit too close. So, beginner's mistakes. But what I'm gonna do is just get a chisel and chisel that stuff out. So see how it goes. Okay, so we chiseled it out and we got a nice tight fit. What I'm gonna do is throw some glue in there and then clamp it down. So, thanks. Let's see what happens. All right, so I took the uh, piece of Purple Heart over to the bandsaw and cut it down a little bit more flush. I've got about maybe an eighth inch sticking out right there. Um, what I'm doing now is just gonna let the glue dry We'll put a clamp on it, get it real nice and tight there. So we'll see. And that's the bandsaw marks on there. So hopefully once I sand it, it will be nice and beautiful purple. All right, so I allowed this thing 24 hours to dry. And what I'm going to do now is get the belt sander out probably first to knock down the uh, high spot there. And then go down to my orbital sander at the end. So... All right, so that or that uh, belt sander, I think I got 80 grit on there. It just really took it right down. Made it nice and smooth there. Really pleased with that. So what we're going to do is uh, get it down. We want to sand down all the hard edges. And what we'll do is maybe uh, try some more of these inlays here. Because I really like the way that looks. All right, if you guys liked what you've seen, and you want to see the full build process of this bench, please hit that subscribe button, and I will see you guys later. Thanks for watching.